This next part is called uh, dereferencing and the dot operator, and it leads into uh, a trait called deref, which is uh, which is really interesting. Um, but first, uh, just about this uh, this dot operator. Uh, you might have noticed that this yourself. Uh, you know, the dot operator is used when you call a method. So, uh, you know, we've seen that all the time. Uh, but let's uh, let's look at reference for references for a second to see uh, what we're uh, what we're talking about. So, uh, you know, we know uh, how references work. You have uh, we have my number is nine, and then we have uh, reference equals a uh, reference to uh, my number. And then uh, if we say, uh, okay, are these uh, are these the same? Rust is going to say, you know, it's not even going to uh, entertain the thought because uh, you know they're not even the same type. So Rust is going to say, I'm not even going to try to compare these. Uh, you can't compare apples with oranges. And uh, so there you go. This this is an integer, and this is a reference to integer to an integer. You know, this owns its data. This is just pointing at data. Uh, it's totally different, and uh, I'm not going to let you do that. So that is uh, you know that's normal. We know we know how that works. But uh, what's interesting is that uh, when you use the uh, the dot operator, then Rust will dereference automatically for you, and it'll do it as much as it needs to uh, to make uh, the the method work. Uh, and uh, here's an example of, uh, of how this works <clears throat> and it's it's like a it's a convenience that you uh, that you do because otherwise uh, you know if you if you have uh, my item and you're calling some uh, some method and you have to think about uh, you know some method is you know maybe it's a, a reference or something and then we're going to do like is equal to nine uh, then you know how are you going to you know, are you going to dereference here? Are you going to you know dereference here? And you could have like a whole bunch of uh, method calls, some other method, and uh, so that is why. Uh, and if you had to do that, then the language would be uh, a nightmare, probably. Um, and so Rust will uh, not make you have to do that. So uh, let's see. Let's make an item. So item. We'll just make this. Super normal item uh, with uh, with a number eight inside it, and then uh, then we're going to have a reference number equals. Uh, this is going to be a reference to item dot number. So this is going to be a reference to uh, u eight, and uh, we can uh, show that by giving Rust a uh, a fake method, and it's going to say this is a uh, you know a reference to a u eight. So so we know what uh, what type that is, um, and then uh, if we try to uh, compare it again, uh, it's not going to work. So we'll do this uh, reference number equals eight, and once again, it's going to say uh, I can't do that. So there you go. Uh, no surprise yet. Uh, now, of course, we would have to, you know, dereference and do that manually. So there you go. True. Uh, now let's uh, let's give uh, item a uh, a method, so we can give it uh, something that we actually use the uh, the dot operator with. So we will say impl item, and we're going to say function compare number, and this will take a reference to self, and then it'll take some other number, and this will be in u uh, eight because it has to be a u eight to compare it, and then uh, we're going to say um, or something and something equal, and then it's going to uh, you know give a uh, true or false, and then we'll have self dot number. Uh, let's see other number, and then we will have uh, self dot number equals other number like that. Um, there we go. And you'll notice here that we have uh, we're actually bringing in a reference to self. Um, and uh, we're, we don't have we don't have to do this. We don't have to do uh, you know dereference self. Uh, it's actually going to uh, take care of that for us. And so we will have uh, let's see. We made our item here, reference number. Uh, let's call it uh, reference. Uh, call it reference item. So we're going to reference the whole item like that. And then let's also reference. Uh, Let's reference that. So 
equals uh, reference item. So this is going to be a reference to an item, and this is going to be a reference to a reference of an item. So that's its type, and we can uh, we can see that by uh, reference item two by giving it some uh, some garbage method, and uh, it's going to say. There you go. So you can say it's clearly a, a reference to a reference to an item. And so now we'll take the original item and say compare number uh, eight. And then uh, we're also going to take reference item um, to the same thing, compare number uh, eight and uh, reference item two dot compare number Eight. So we're comparing an item to uh, to an eight, uh, and then uh, all these references to uh, to to an eight. And uh, so now, when we do that, uh, it actually works. And uh, so the dot, you can see that the dot operator. Uh, so it it, uh, it um, you know it's actually a a uh, it's a method for item, but uh, it sees that uh, it needs to compare to. Um, to a u8 and uh, whenever you call the dot operator if it can it's going to deref as many times as it needs to to uh to make it work so you can uh, you can do that you can have you know 12 uh 12 references in there and uh it'll still work and you can see that it is uh, actually doing something because if we try to you know totally dereference it then it's going to say hey you can't dereference something uh that is um like there's, it's not even a reference. So, so what are you doing? But you can, uh, you can put all these, uh, all these uh, references in there, and uh, it'll still do it. We can put them in there, and so you can see it. Uh, there's no limit. It's going to keep on uh, doing what it can to uh, to make it work. And uh, this is also done, uh, you know, statically during the compilation. So there's no. There's no runtime cost. Uh, it'll just uh, figure it out and then and then realize that you are um, that you need to compare a U8 to a U8, and it'll make it happen. And that is thanks to the dot operator. And you can see uh, some people have written about this um, here in the uh, Rustinomicon. The dot operator will perform a lot of magic to convert types. It will perform auto referencing, auto dereferencing, and coercion until types match. And by the way, that's called uh, Deref, co deref coercion and coercion means make you do it so make you deref that is uh that is what coercion means um here's another site that's uh it's talking about the magic of the dot dot operator and uh so yeah this is um an interesting thing to uh to notice and uh in the next video we're going to look at uh Deref with a uh, with a box and uh, implementing deref for our own types uh, because uh, actually when you deref you get all the uh, the powers of the type if you uh, if you implement deref and it can get uh, pretty pretty interesting.